Welcome back again, guys. In this section, I'm going to be giving you the overview of working with scalar data. So again, we're going to go over all the top topics that's going to be discussed in this section. So let's dive right into it. So what will you learn in this section? The first thing that we're going to discuss is working with strings. And all kinds of languages use strings. It's probably the most important part of any data within programming languages. It's, it's text. That's the whole point of looking at output and editing input. So again, with strings, it's probably one of the most important topics of this course. So working with numbers as well, it's just as important with strings because of course, everything re revol revolves around numbers and we want to make calculations and perform different operations and we want to make useful Perl programs. So working with variables, now working with variables is really interesting. It's going to help us a lot and it helps out a lot of other programmers because we can actually save information and use it later. So that's why variables are really important because they're just containers that hold information that we can use for later use in our programs. So getting user input. This will allow us to interact with our users so we can collect information from our users and we can perform some specific task or we can pretty much use that data for anything. So we're going to be using the user input to save information from the user. So the chomp operator. The whole point of the chomp operator is just to remove or perform an action or an operation when we get user information. So I'll explain and talk about you know the whole point of the chomp operator. Everything serves a purpose in these topics. So next on our list, we're going to be discussing decision making with if statements. And I'll go over not only if statements, but the alternative if statements as well. And the reason why this is very important in programming because it gives logic to our, our programs and it gives us, you know, the ability to make um, pretty much um, decisions. You know, if something happens, we want this to happen. So we're going to be giving our pro applications logic and we want it to do things based on decisions it makes. So looping with while statements. And this is heavily used in a lot of programming languages and programs as well because we it saves us a lot of time from having to repeat a block of code and writing something over and over and over and over again so we have this um, this construct that gives us the opportunity to write something once and our pro application will repeat itself until we want it to stop and again, for our conclusion or section outro, I'll give you guys a very brief overview of what you, what you guys have just learned. So I'll see you guys in our next lecture and let's get started.